I told you we'd start right on time. Hello, everyone around the world, and welcome to Summer Game Fest Kickoff Live, presented by Prime Gaming. I'm Jeff Keeley, and buckle up, because we've got a big show for you, filled with new game announcements, world premieres, updates on the games you play every day, some surprises, and special guests, including Jeff Goldblum, Giancarlo Esposito. Yes, that's really a thing. Now, like a great video game, there may be some twists along the way today, and just wait until you see what we have planned for the end game. That is all I'm allowed to tell you right now. This is just the start of a big Summer Game Fest weekend of news and updates for fans, including live-streamed events from publishers like Xbox and Bethesda, Square Enix, Ubisoft, and more. You can head right now to summergamefest.com to track all the events, and believe me, there is a lot of great stuff coming your way. But today, we kick things off with a big 90-minute cross-industry showcase meant to put platforms and rivalries aside. We will have updates and news for you, no matter if you play on Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. The biggest games in the world will be here, and some of the smallest ones, too, made by emerging voices and developers from around the world who represent what's next. Thank you so much for tuning in and kicking off Video Game Summer. Well, let's begin with a brand new game announcement. You're about to see the world premiere of the next great adventure from Gearbox and 2K. Fate. It soars on the wind. It rises from the grave. It stalks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. <laughs> Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is official, and joining us now is Tiny Tina herself, Ashley Birch. Hey, Ash, how you What's doing? What's up, baby? How you doing? Great to have <laughs> you here. Uh, so I think the big question everyone's going to have is, what is Wonderlands? What can you tell us about it? It's a great question. Yes. It's, uh, it's a high fantasy take on a looter shooter, as you saw. And um, if you're a fan of Borderlands, you'll probably recognize some fantasy elements inspired by Assault on Dragon Keep, which was the Borderlands 2 DLC that was beloved by the devs. And so this kind of inspired Wonderlands. Uh, now, I think the, the elephant in the room is, is this a Borderlands game? Is it not? How does it relate? So it actually isn't. It's its own standalone game. Um, and people that love Borderlands are going to find lots of elements to love about Wonderlands, but it's its own thing. Yeah. Tiny Tina's got her own thing going on yeah. now. Um, so it's got its own mechanics. There's spell casting. You can customize your character this time, which is super exciting. And um, yeah, so if you love Borderlands, you're gonna find stuff to love in this. And if you've never played a Borderlands game, this is a great place to start. Okay, well, Tiny Tina gets her own game, which is fantastic. Yes. What is her, her role? Why does she get her own game? So she is your bunker master. Yeah. Um, she is kind of guiding the narrative and changing it on a dime if she wants. Um, and she's just taking your cast of characters, uh, which is an amazing cast, yeah. um, through this wacky world. Uh, and she's taking you on an adventure to defeat the Dragon Lord. And who is that? I don't know. You'll have to play. And I wonder who plays the Dragon Lord, because you've got quite the <laughs> voice cast, including you in this, which oh. is awesome. So feels Thank like you. such a, a big experience. Um, so this was a bit of a tease, announcing it's out there. Um, when will we find out more about this game? 
um, hopefully this summer. Yes. Um, and you can find out a lot more at playwonderlands.com if you'd like. Okay. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned for updates. All right, coming early 2022. So yes. look forward to next year. Ash, thank you so much for joining us in person. Thanks for I having really me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see more later this summer on that game. All right, well, uh, now it is time for another brand new game announcement. This one you probably are not expecting. A classic 90s franchise is coming back to life as a grid-based tactical strategy title for Steam on PC. This is an insanely fun trailer. I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, we have another big announcement for you from a surprise guest, but it's well past 3 a.m. their time. So don't worry, we chatted earlier, and I'm very excited to share this with you right now. Hello, mystery guest. Hello. Hi. Mr. Kojima, it is so good to see you. Thank you for joining us uh, from Tokyo. Uh, first of all, I just want to ask, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are things right now uh, over there in Japan? 東京ですね。えっと、また非常事態宣言っていうのが出てて、え、ま、ちょっとコロナのあの患者数が増えつつあると。で、ワクチンをそろそろ打ち出そうとしてる、そういう感じですね。Well, we certainly hope that you're going to get your vaccine soon. Um, let me ask you as a creator, how has this past year impacted you? ま、今までのものづくりっていうのはま、今自分がいる世界を見て、で、実続きで5年後、10年後、20年後どうなるかっていうのを考えながらそこにエンターテインメントを加えていって、ま、作ってたのが結構その10年後、20年後に当たってたりっていうのがあったんですけど、今回のD
えー、と今までのような、えー、こう一歩一歩進むものじゃないんですよねやっぱりその9・11の時もそうですけどこのコロナでガラリとあらゆるものが変わっていくものすごいスピードで変わっていくんで,でそこでエンターテインメントが遅れを取ってしまうとダメなんでそれをどうするかというその予測ですね。あのーまあ、全くこう宇宙人が攻めてくるとか、えー、そういうゲームであればあのこの中でも関係ないんでしょうけど、えー、やっぱりこう、えー、社会性の基盤を持ったエンターテインメントっていうのを作りたいですし、えー、皆さんに起こりつつあることをエンターテインメントの中でちょっとこう紹介したいっていうのもあるので今後の世の中がどちらの方向に向かっていくかっていうのが今まで以上にすごく急激に変わっていっているので。そこを間違えないように作るというか、えー、そこはすごく神経質になってます今。All right, fair enough. I tried.、Uh, well, Mr. Kojima, honestly, I, I really do appreciate you making the time to stop by and just say hello to everyone.、Uh, we miss you and we can't wait to see what you're working on、uh, next. So、um, thank you. Ah,、uh, Jeff, Jeff,、uh, one more thing. <laughs> There you have it. Death Stranding Director's Cut finally confirmed. I hope I make it into the Director's Cut. <laughs> I'm told the full reveal is just weeks away. Stay tuned. All right, next, it's my honor to welcome to Summer Game Fest a legendary actor who dedicated a whole episode of his Disney Plus show to exploring the world of gaming and has been in games like Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And we're thrilled to have him here at Summer Game Fest. Jeff Goldblum, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much, J Joffrey or J Geoff or.、Uh, sorry, I think, it's I think it's Jeffrey. Hey, maybe it's Jeff. Hi, hi Jeff.、Uh, thank you so much, sincerely, for having me here. I'm thrilled to be here. Hey, I was watching your show. 
Um, and I was wondering uh, if there might be some video game world premieres, as you say. Uh, and sure enough, yeah, uh, 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 there, there is. There is. Yes, we do like our world premieres around here. Any chance you uh, brought one with you today? Well, it's funny you should say that. Yes, you could say, uh, yes, I do. Uh, if you don't mind, I've uh, got something here. I'm going to read it on this. There's a little bit of a teleprompter that they're putting up here. So I'm going to read something because I don't want to get it wrong. I wanna, I'm very meticulous about this. So here's a dramatic reading of this game announcement. Ready? I'm going to make the game announcement right now. Hello. I'm here to welcome you to a very different world. It's going to elevate you to new heights. It's going to submerge you to new depths. Maybe even challenge you to control chaos. Actually, it's going to certainly challenge you to control chaos. It's a world um, so-called evolved. Take a look at the you guessed it, world premiere. We ignored all the warnings. Forgot the lessons. We abused our power. We played with genetics like, uh, like it was a toy. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. This is a very different world. Right now, though, we're thrilled to announce the upcoming Western release of a spectacular 3D massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Welcome to the world of Lost Ark from Smilegate RPG and Amazon Games. The Lost Ark is now but a myth. Remember chain war. But now our world has been torn once again. The demons have returned. With roaring destruction and waking nightmares.
Okay, right now I'm honored to be joined by Johanna Ferris, the new GM of Call of Duty. Johanna, it's so great to have you with us here on Kickoff Live. Everyone is so excited about what Call of Duty has been doing with all these seasons. And I know it uh, looks like next week, June 17th, season four. Yes, we're super excited. We're super honored to be here. So thank you first and foremost to that. It's just such an amazing time for Call of Duty. We're experiencing such transformational growth and dynamism across the entire brand, you know, from premium title releases to everything we'll talk about today, yeah. with, with Warzone, with mobile, with eSports. So it's just super incredible, all the work. And shout out to everybody in the Call of Duty family who makes it happen every day. Yeah, no, you've been, I mean, I know season three, it was like, you know, Rambo, Die Hard <laughs> now. I, who knows what's in store for season four, but you guys, you know, continually update the game now with new stuff. Uh, season four is coming next week. What can you, uh, this is first info on it, so what can you tell the fans watching around the world? Yeah, we're stoked. It's jam-packed with new content across Cold War and Warzone. You know, you've got new weapons, we've got new maps, we've got badass new operators. Um, I'm super excited about the hijacked Gulag. We've got expanded zombies content for everybody who loves that part of, you know, the gameplay experience. So we're thrilled and I'm excited to, to bring it forward a little bit here today. I know, we've got uh, the first look world premiere trailer of uh, season four, so uh, let's take a look at that now. Do what you are told, and you get to live. You understand? I knew you were a smart one. Secure the site. Cold War just turned on. We've located the satellite. Raptor 1, my team's about to be overrun. I am death. Oh my god, that looks so fun. And one week away. One week away. All right, well, uh, let's move on to... Uh, you first joined Activision to run uh, Call of Duty Esports, and we're going to talk a little bit now about uh, what is the World Series of uh, Warzone, which is going to start on June the 22nd. Uh, first of all, tell us, what is World Series of Warzone? Yeah, we're super excited about it. It's really a new way for us to highlight competitive Call of Duty. You know, we've got great success going with Call of Duty League, and now we've got some of the biggest names in gaming battling it out in Verdansk for what will be the biggest prize pool in Warzone um, since it's launched, right? So. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what that entails, but custom lobby experiences, 150 player to a side squad. So I'm stoked to see how they uh, kind of rally here in Verdansk. Yes, uh, and coming up uh, very soon, June 22nd, uh, looks, like, looks like Twitch Rivals is going to be a part of this? Yeah, we are honored to be in partnership with Twitch, o always, right? But certainly here with World Series of Warzone and partnering with Twitch Rivals, who's already done so much um, to really put competitive war zone on display. So couldn't be in better partnership there and uh, we're excited to have everybody tune in. Yes, uh, there is one thing though that everyone has been talking about online and that's uh, who the captains are going to be uh, for the structure of, uh, of the World Series of Origin, at least for the first event. Yeah. Um, and I understand we've uh, getting a little bit reveal here of, of who some of the captains are, right? Yeah, we love the first five captains of the first of many events to come. Uh, like I said, these are huge influencers and personalities in Call of Duty, and they also share our passion for competitive Call of Duty, right? They really believe in the promise of World Series of Warzone and to really level up what it means to really battle it out. So uh, couldn't be happier with some of these names, many of whom also hail from the Call of Duty League yes. family. Um, and I'm excited to see who kind of takes the cake here. We'll see. I was going to say, they're all be battling out uh, in just a couple weeks on Twitch Rivals. Well, it's really exciting uh, to see how much uh, you know, Call of Duty is growing into this kind of year-round experience for everyone with so much more content. So we can't wait to see where you're going to take it. And I know uh, there is a big new mainline game coming later this year too, right? Indeed, indeed. More details to share yes. later on, but uh, Sledgehammer Games is you know, going to bring forward something truly incredible. So we're excited. All right. We tried, guys. <laughs> there will come a time and a place for that. All right, Johanna, thank you so much for joining us. We thank really you. appreciate it. All right, we've got lots of Summer Game Fest kickoff to go, but right now we've got a surprise guest joining us, my fellow Canadian, 
Ryan Reynolds. Hey, Ryan. Well, thank you, Jeff. And hello, Summer Game Fest. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. And no, I'm, I'm not here to announce I'm the star of Elden Ring. I think. Instead, no, I'm making, uh, I'm telling you to talk about good old-fashioned movies. You remember those things? Of course you don't. Look, um, I have a new movie coming out August 13th called Free Guy, um, and in this movie I play an NPC character uh, in a popular open-world video game uh, until I break free and I realize that it kind of sucks to be a, you know, lonely background character on an endless walk cycle. So now here's one of those world premieres. It's a first-ever look at our cast on the big screen this August, and honestly, it's been so long I can't even remember who's even in this movie. I didn't say that. I'll cut that out. Yeah, I'll do it right now. My name is Guy. I thought I had everything I needed. Oh, oh! Mondays, am I right, Joe? You said it, Guy. But then I met her. Put these on. Oh, my God! What are these, trick glasses or something? Guy, there's no easy way to say this. This world, it's a video game. You're not real. Please stop my oh, And the guy responsible for this world is going to destroy it. Are we talking about God? You've met God? Yes, he's an absolute troll. Trolls exist. We can save our world, but we have to fight together. I don't even know what's happening right now, but I love it! Oh, oh that actually hurt my hand. I have three words for you. Blue shirt guy. This guy is outskilling all these players. Woo! I've never seen anything like this. Who the hell even knows who this blue shirt guy is? He's also really cute. The game wasn't even made for someone like this. Terminate him. Nope. No! I can't die! I'm never gonna die! That was fun seeing uh, Ninja, Pokey, Jacksepticeye, Laser Beam, all those guys who will be in uh, Free Guy. Uh, Ryan had to say it. I can't say it yet. All right. Uh, up next, it won multiple awards at the Game Awards, and Among Us just keeps going. Now it's time to hear from Inner Sloth on what's coming next. Lots of fun ahead. And speaking of Among Us, last year you may remember the very rare Jeff Keighley mask was available as a Twitch drop around the Game Awards, never to be seen again. In fact, I often hear on Twitter from people who get booted from games with the mask because uh, folks think that they're hacked. Well, never fear, today the mask is back. Just head to Twitch, connect your account, and watch 15 minutes or more of Kickoff Live to get your very own Jeff Keighley mask once again. And then it goes back into the vault. I don't know what's going on, all right. Speaking of independent developers, now I'm very happy to welcome to Summer Game Fest the head of indies at PlayStation, a legend in his own right who has some exciting things to share, Shuhei Yoshida. Hi, Shu. Thanks, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I'm Shuhei Yoshida, head of PlayStation Indies. What I love about working with independent developers are the new and unexpected games that they create which allows us to offer an array of unique experiences for players. In my role as Sony, it's very exciting to get to meet with these talented studios, which sometimes can be one person or a small group of friends, to help nurture their ideas and bring them to the PlayStation fans. One example is from Finji, who has been working with Greg Lobanov, the developer of Wonder Song, to publish their new game, Chikori, A Colorful Tale. Chikori released today 
and give players the chance to experience a coloring book style world where players use their painting powers to explore, solve puzzles, make friends, and draw on anything. Check out Chikori A Colorful Tale on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 after the show. As a huge Soulsborne Games fan, I totally enjoyed the beautiful 2D action adventure Salt and Sanctuary a few years ago. The developer Ska Studios has been hard at work on a new title, which I'm proud to present to you, Salt and Sacrifice. <laughs> Our sins will catch up with us. Always. I was given a second chance. I spoke the words. I drank the mage bane. I live now only to hunt mages. I am a marked inquisitor. There aren't many of us. But together, we, we will tame the, the chaos. chaos. Thanks, Shu, and that's not all. Today, we're also able to share with you a brand new trailer from the upcoming Annapurna and Heart Machine game, Solar Ash, which is coming to PlayStation later this year. That looks so, so great. Can't wait to see it later this year. Now, this week, there is a ton of video game news, but there's also a big game launching across console and PC, Chivalry 2, which brings 64-player multiplayer medieval battles to life. Sledgehammers, swords, axes, you name it. And it comes from Torn Banner Studios in my hometown of Toronto, Canada. Here's a look at the launch trailer for Chivalry 2, which you can play right now. For every warrior, there comes a time yeah! when a moment will decide your fate. Yeah! As the throng of battle echoes against steel and shield, and we cry out towards eternity. Find yourself in this moment. Ignite the fire of your soul and survive this day. Fall before me. Another victory.
This month, Valorant from Riot celebrated its one year anniversary and starting next Monday, June 14th, Prime Gaming members will get an exclusive player card to celebrate the one year anniversary and a pity party spray through June 25th. This is all leading up to the release of episode three of the game later this month, which will be celebrated with an epic WW Fest unlocked year one stream on June 25th. But there will also be a new agent. Who could it be? Well, here's your first very, very exclusive, but very, very quick tease to whet your ap appetite with more to be revealed later this month during Summer Game Fest. I told you it was very, very quick. <laughs> All right, uh, warring PMC factions face off against each other in Escape from Tarkov, the popular multiplayer first-person shooter video game developed by Battlestate Games. Today, we've got an exclusive new look at the streets of Tarkov, the new area of the game under development. When I was a kid, the simulation games of Peter Molyneux were some of my favorites. Adding that extra salt on the fries in the theme park to increase your drink sales was so devilish. Well, many of the team members behind those sim games went on to create Two Point Studios and Two Point Hospital. Well, today we're excited to share the first trailer for their next Two Point simulation, Two Point Campus. That first sight of the school gates, the scent of a leather-bound book, the faint clatter of knights jousting. Well, I can't say I remember that part, though it wasn't like this in my day. You see, campuses are forever changing. Nowadays, education has to be fun. It can't be all work and no play, and quite right, too. Frankly, the results speak for themselves. Academia has never been more appealing, more dynamic, more whatever this is. Today's campus is a place to live and a place to learn. Finely crafted by the sharpest minds that money can buy. 
Though sometimes you still can't get the staff. Yes, these days it really does feel as though anything is possible. Campus class is in session 2022. We aren't done with Netflix just yet, though. Coming up next is Smite, a cross-play, cross-platform game that continues to do some pretty amazing IP crossovers. You may remember last summer we announced the Avatar The Last Bender one. Uh, um, well, as Smite enters its ninth year, it's time to go upside down. Next up, we announce a lot of games on my shows, but I think this is the first time we are announcing an entirely new game label, new game publisher. Enjoy this first look at more than 12 games that make up its initial slate. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Let's begin. Is that who you are? My purpose makes me who I am. Ooh! I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. Being relied on to succeed where others would fail. <laughs> There you have it, Prime Matter, Payday 3-2, and there is actually one more game added to the mix, and for that, we go to Todd Holland's head from Sabre. Todd, how you doing? I'm great, Jeff. Thank you for the intro there. I'm really excited to have this little last edition, which is, is that Sabre and Prime Matter are working together on a new game in the Painkiller franchise. All right, very cool on that. And there are more details on Prime Matter coming tomorrow with a stream at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and I will be stopping by. Next up is a brand new IP from a brand new studio, Stray Bombay. It's coming this fall only to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass on day one. 
It's called the Anacrusis, a four-player cooperative first-person shooter set aboard a massive starship stranded at the edge of explored space. You team up with your friends in an infinitely replayable fight against alien hordes to unlock perks, weapons, and new ways to play that you can share with your team. Here is the world premiere trailer. Hello? NASA! Liu! Help! Lance! Gion! Thanks. No problem. Stick together and let's do this. Is this a disco? This I do not like. I can use some help! Hit your pole! Not good, not good. What if we open the doors and run? Just run. No stopping, no shooting, just straight to the bridge. Get that pressure! Heavy. Really? We call them tanks. I call them brutes. From Latin, brutus. We'd sound smart calling them brutes. Gion, you don't want to get in here and help name these? No, nah, I'm good. Root! Awesome look. Thanks for that, Chet, and the team at Stray Bombay. Uh, tomorrow, tune into Summer Game Fest for a special deep dive presentation on New World, a new open world MMO from Amazon Games set on the supernatural island of Eternum. It's finally coming out later this summer, and in the deep dive video, game director Scott Lane will take players into the mysterious supernatural island that is a world of wonder and horror. Once you arrive, it's up to you to unite warring human factions to take on a common enemy, the Tempest, who wants to unmake life. Scott and the team will detail updates to the game, including new mid and end game content, more PVE and expeditions, five player challenges with unique mechanics, bosses, loot, and more. Six of these expeditions will be at launch with the closed beta on July 20th and the public launch on August 31st. I will also be down at the studio to chat with Scott about the game and the team's efforts over the past year in the midst of COVID. It is exciting for me to finally be able to get out there and visit game studios again. I miss all these developers. So check out the special deep dive stream on New World tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern at summergamefest.com. All right, well, back in 2018, Rocket League teamed up with Fast and Furious, bringing some of the saga's most iconic cars into the game. And now they are back with a twist that is truly Rocket League with Fast 9, the next installment of the Fast Saga arriving in U.S. theaters June 25th. Psyonix is bringing back the Nissan Skyline, Dodge Charger, and, well, maybe the most literal, supersonic, acrobatic, rocket-powered heist car ever conceived, the F9. Pontiac Fiero. Strap a rocket engine to a car and play soccer seems like the right idea to me. The Fast and Furious three-car bundle arrives June 17th in Rocket League. Okay, next up, last year, a new Swedish company named Shark Mob released a teaser for their first unnamed multiplayer project in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Tonight, we're putting a name on their first game with a brand new world premiere trailer. centuries we have lived in secrecy among you maintaining the masquerade we have influenced your society fed on your blood thrived among you until now 
I can't wait to play this game, and we actually won't have to wait long. You can sign up now for the bloodhunt.com, is where you go, for the closed alpha PC test, available on July 2nd. Blood Hunt will be released later this year. Next, the latest horror game series from the creators of Until Dawn continues with The House of Ashes, part of the Dark Pictures anthology. This third game features American and Iraqi soldiers stranded in a cursed temple. Here's the story trailer with the exclusive reveal of the monsters lurking in the depths. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. But I strongly suspect it's where chemical weapons are hidden, so we need to move fast. They're on the road, ready to go dark. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Men out, hold fire. Or extremely foolish. We're gonna sigh off this ship brothers in arms, or will it be a case of each man for himself? Get down, get down! They're up on the race! Return fire! You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Oh, Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. We're on God's green earth that we landed. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? You keep lookout. Lookout? Lookout for what? One by one, their lights will be snuffed out. Unless you can find the means to save them. Trapped beneath the earth, swallowed we have to move. Let's go. by the void. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness forever. One of the longest, most beloved JRPG franchises in the industry is the Tales of series. Well, the latest game, Arise, was announced two years ago, and it brings the franchise into stunning 3D with Unreal Engine 4. Here's a world premiere look at the latest trailer, with more information following in the coming weeks. Fancy place they got here. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. I'm Dohilim Ilkaris. Should you need my skills on the battlefield, all I care for is maintaining peace. I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Men and Sea Gaul. Ha! Flare the Malisha! From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. 
The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. Looking for you. Olaf, get the hell out of my realm! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? Is it over? It's only just begun. For Summer Game Fest, we have a special announcement for you. That the console version of Sky Children of the Light would arrive to Nintendo Switch on June 29th. And the Little Prince season would start soon after on July 6th. Enjoy the game. One of the things I take great pleasure in is using a platform like this show to introduce you to new developers and studios with games that deserve the spotlight. That's definitely the case with this next title from a small Swedish studio named Wishfully. Planet of Lana tells the story of a young girl and her loyal friend who embark on a mission through a colorful world that's designed to feel like a gouache watercolor painting come to life. Here's your first look at the Planet of Lana coming to Xbox and PC in 2022. What a beautiful artistic game. Honored to have that on our show. Well, joining me now is Aaron Keller, who's the game director of Overwatch 2. Aaron, uh, great to have you here on Kickoff Live. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, we are excited to learn more about what's planned for Overwatch 2. You guys recently, you had a, a PvP live stream that I watched, and you revealed some, uh, some changes coming to Overwatch 2. Uh, what can you tell us? What's the latest? Yeah, so we recently announced that Overwatch 2's format is changing to a 5v5 team format. This requires a fresh look at all of our heroes in the game. It should feel new yet familiar to fans of our strategic team-based combat. 
Yeah, uh, it was great to see you guys playing, and uh, you know, I didn't, long awaited for people to get a chance to go hands on with it. Um, and today, I know you brought us a look at uh, some skins for some of the uh, some of the characters, right? Yeah, the yeah. team is so passionate about updating the look and the feel of the world of Overwatch. And one aspect of that is creating entirely new models for Overwatch 2 for all of our heroes. Wow. So today we're going to be looking at two of those, uh, Baptiste and Sombra. All right, well, let's take a look here. And I know you're going to tell us a little bit about what we're seeing, but uh, it's so cool to see these characters brought into Overwatch 2. So yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, so this is Baptiste. Um, and there's a lot of new technology that go into our models. Uh, we have new share hater tech, or <laughs> hair shader tech, excuse me, um, in order to, to get the look that we're going for with his haircut. He also has a glowing cape and gloves that kind of um, give that medic or surgeon vibe to him. Wow. So cool. That's incredible. Um, Thank you. And uh, we're gonna Sombra, I think, right? Yep, so next up is Sombra. This was a very challenging look for us to update. There's, it's an asymmetrical design. There's so many layers of hair and clothing and technology in this. If you look closely, you can actually see circuitry and nodes embedded in her clothing. She's a world-class hacker, so it all makes sense. <laughs> no, again, it's you know so great for fans to see these characters you know and love uh, from the first game, updated for Overwatch 2, and we can't wait to see uh, more on the game. We appreciate you giving us a little sneak preview here, and I'm sure there'll be more later this year on Overwatch 2. You bet, thank you. Awesome, all right, thanks very much, Aaron. Uh, now, recently I had a chance to play Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance with the game developer Jeff Haddam, Hannibal Burris, and Ember Moon from the WWE. That's right, you didn't expect me to say that, but this game is a ton of fun, and it's coming to Game Pass on June 22nd. Take a look. Hey guys, it's Jeff Keeley, and today as part of Summer Game Fest, we are going hands-on with a game that is coming out in just a couple of weeks. It is Dark Alliance, and we've got Jeff, one of the game developers from 2K, Jeff, special guests, Hannibal Burris and Ember Moon. Okay, okay. What uh, is this? That looks like a trap. Oh, that spice. looks like a trap. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Traps. Ow. Oh, sh**. Oh, no, you I get oh, no. <laughs> A warrior's death, I died I'm again. I'm coming to get you. Hey, hey, oh. hey. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I can't believe I'm down. I'm down, people. The developer's down? The dev what? is down. So, Ember, I know you really wanted to be Driss, Absolutely. Right? I've read all the books, especially the Driss backstory, and I just connected with it on such an intimate level to the point where my wrestling character that everyone sees on TV is actually based on this character. <laughs> the red eyes, even though Driss has purple, I just love everything about him that he's just constantly the good guy the entire time. Oh! Oh, oh what the? Oh. He's, a he's the Verbeek chef. Ah, uh, that doesn't look healthy at all. Oh, why'd I just all run right, up on him like that? Well, Let me see I'm what you now. got. You so ain't got what? nothing on us, baby. I'm here now. Oh, 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 whoa, oh whoa. I spoke oh. way too soon. <laughs> we got him, we got him. Come on, he's gone. Come on, he's gone. come on. We don't want any dessert. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what a death. Find some weird dreams tonight because of that. Oh, he flipped <laughs> us off. <laughs> Act complete. That was great. Yeah. Get it. All right, Summer Game Fest kickoff live presented by Prime Gaming continues. Yesterday was an amazing tease of the next Battlefield from EA. And if you want to dust up on the history of the franchise, its last big modern day game, uh, that was Battlefield 4. It's this month, Prime Gaming members get to download it and play it for free through June 20th. Now, there's no catch. This is the full-blown PC version of the 2013 game and those only in Battlefield moments still hold up. Just head to gaming.amazon.com to redeem your free copy right now if you are an Amazon Prime member. And this Sunday, watch the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase for the first gameplay footage of Battlefield 2042. 
going to be really cool. Um, all right, right now, let's take a look at another world premiere. Monster Hunter Stories is coming to the Switch in July, and we've got your first look at the story trailer. of ruin. You don't understand. That Rathalos is... can't let you interfere with our plans. That's the Monster Red Song. You suppose he saw this coming? We won't let you awaken it. All right, well, right now, let's turn to a game that we announced last year at the Game Awards, Endless Dungeon from Amplitude. We showed a brief glimpse of gameplay in December, and fans wanted more. Well, here's an extended look at Endless Dungeon. We're stuck in this wreck until everybody learns the rules. Yep, all of them. Rule number one. Certain weapons work better on certain monsters. Learn it or die. Oh, option B then. Rule number two, use turrets to protect that unstable dust bomb we call the crystal. Because it's their catnip. And if it goes, you go. Yep, just like that. Rule number three. Watch your squat. Even if you've got the guns, the turrets, and the crystal, you can't do everything by yourself. If you fight alone, you die alone. Ah, uh, together again. And rule number four? Well, if you've got all that going, but you still can't win, you gotta change the squad. Tag team, I'm in. What are you guys doing tonight? If you're lucky enough to have a PS5, you're probably getting ready to play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I've been playing it and having a ton of fun. Well, later today, the team at Insomniac is going to be doing a special launch stream on Twitch. And to tell us more, take it away, Marcus and Mike. Hey, Jeff, and everybody watching Summer Games Fest Kickoff Live. Marcus Smith here, creative director at Insomniac Games for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We're excited that players finally get a chance to play the game tomorrow and to celebrate. We want to spend some more time with you today at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern to live stream the first hour of Rift Apart. Isn't that right, Mike? That's right. I'm Mike Daly, the game director of Rift Apart. In addition to playing through the opening of the game, we'll also be taking your questions live and talking about what it was like to develop the game behind the scenes. So please join us at twitch.tv slash insomniac games at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you there.
All right, we're now about to be joined by the one and only John Carlo Esposito to talk Far Cry 6. Uh, John Carlo, thank you for joining us. So why did you want to take on this role? They came to me with this phenomenal idea uh, and had proposed that I play Anton Castillo, the leader of Yara, with this big vision and dream for his country. And it, it really appealed to me because he was a guy who first came from a love of his family and a love of his community and country. And it was so in, in, in line with what's going on in the world politically today and what has happened in the past. I thought, what a great opportunity. The other part of it is it's just a different technology that's so brand new. And it, it excites me as a filmmaker that I wanted to be a part of it. All right, well, you've played some absolutely amazing villains in your career. What was it like being a video game villain? No, I'm not a villain. I have to, I got to push back on you. I'll let you finish. But this guy loves his country. He wants to empower you, Keely. He wants to empower you to stand up and speak your truth. Now you can go back to calling me a villain if you like. Well, you are smiling on the box. You're a good guy, right? <laughs> I am because I, I feel like we as human beings fall in line. And I, I, I want to be a renegade within reason. How do you like that? Because I think part and parcel of us falling in line and doing what we need to do and thinking about the cumulative effect of our doing what's right and the example of that is also to stand up and say, no, I do agree that there are good and bad about all people, but this guy, out of his love and passion for his people, even if they're faceless to him at certain points in time, allow him to be an absolute hero. Uh, speaking of your character, who did you base him on or study to create this character? It's so interesting because, of course, the, the obvious choice to study is Fidel Castro, and it is Cuba, an island that had so many resources, but really the dream of the ability of the dictator to cultivate those resources, something got in the way there and hopefully that can change in the years to come. It, funny you asked me that question, because I was just talking to one of my daughters about Ceausescu and, and uh, also Hitler, uh, because we were talking about zodiac signs and what signs were certain people. What is that mindset that has you wanting to be have power over others? Uh, and for each dictator, it's different. She'd never heard of Ceausescu and studied political science and all this in college. My money go. So anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, well, one last question for you. Uh, who would win in a square off between Gus Fring, Moff Gideon, and Anton? You know, and I have my favorites in those two. So you asked me this question. Um, uh, and, and, you know, immediately I say Moff Gideon. Immediately. You know, somehow I, I think Gus is colder and displays that coldness in a very particular way. Uh, you know, I think Anton could be the most violent man on earth, uh, but given his situation, he may not be rise to that occasion or may not have the time. Moff Gideon is otherworldly. This guy thinks in a different way and he knows what you're thinking before you say it. And he, he does all his own dirty work. And he has an incredible tool to help him out. So I'm going to say Moff Gideon. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, uh, John Carlo, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We will check out the revolution in Far Cry 6. And I can't wait for it to begin. Let the games begin! <laughs> awesome. All right, thank you so much, John Carlo. If you haven't picked up on it yet, Prime Gaming unlocks a ton of in-game benefits for Amazon Prime members, like an exclusive Valkyrie skin in Apex Legends, $200,000 in GTA cash every week you play GTA Online. And in Fall Guys, you get a special Burning Circuits costume for your bean through June 21st. Now, speaking of Fall Guys, the time has come to reveal a brand new costume coming to the game based on a legendary game franchise. Check it out.
vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. Organizing the Clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents, and hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. Your opponent is new to the Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. The vision is missing. The sounds of nature turn into a clamor of noise during stormy weather. The winds are coming. Clouds hide. The birds come! So today we've announced games, a publisher, Prime Matter, so why not announce a developer too? And joining me now are Dave Anthony and Jason Blundell from the newly formed Deviation Games. Uh, we know you guys well from all your amazing work over the years at Treyarch and Call of Duty Black Ops, but uh, what can we expect from your new studio, guys? Well, th thanks, Jeff. And uh, look, Jason and I, we've been mates for donkey's years. <laughs> and well, like an old married couple, Jeff, and uh, we've been working together for decades. And we've worked on some huge franchises. You know the games, you know, they've done well. And, uh, but we thought, you know, when you're working on those franchises, the long established IPs, you're working within very, very tight constraints creatively about what you can do. So we thought after all these years, you know, what if we deviated? Yes. So that's deviation <laughs> games. Okay. So Jeff, just trust me, all bets are off. From right. day one, we got complete financial security yeah. to work with creative freedom and time not just to make a brand new IP, which yeah. is what we're doing, but a groundbreaking new IP with innovation at its very core. And the team at Deviation Games, the culture we have is really, really simple. It's, there's no place for ego. It's the best idea that always wins, and that's Deviation Games. All right, well, uh, big ideas from you guys as we would expect. Now, I know it's very early and uh, there is nothing to show on the game today, but can you tell us a bit about what kind of game you're making? What can we expect? Yeah, I mean, you're very right there, Jeff. Very early, but a um, lot of exciting stuff going on. So essentially, we spent the last year building the team, right? And so what we knew was we wanted to collect passionate, creative, collaborative people and bring them together kind of under one roof. And that's what Deviation Games is. So uh, yeah, we don't have anything to show right now, but that, that collaboration, that imagination is, is going on, and we're going to have something that's going to uh, I think leave an indelible mark in the industry when we come out. All right, well, uh, with you guys involved, as I said, we're excited about it. There is one more piece of the puzzle, though, that you want to reveal uh, today, and for that, let's take a look at this. Okay, big news, the stage has changed. Uh, <laughs> blue of PlayStation, so you're partnering with, uh, with PlayStation. What can you tell us about that partnership? That's right, Jeff. And the partnership with PlayStation, it's all about quality. From soup to nuts, this project is all about quality. And our team of deviators that we have back uh, in the studio, we're doing this for you. We are so proud of you. And um, the partnership with Sony, it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, God, just look at the track record of consistency of high quality games that they do. It's hit after hit. It's award after award. And now we've been part of this process and we see how they do things. Yeah. It's really clear how they're managing to accomplish that. So we couldn't be more proud to expand PlayStation's portfolio, yeah. which we're gonna do in a very, very significant way. I mean, let's just face it, right? Sony rocks, and they, they get our kind of brand of crazy, so we're That's very right. happy with this partnership. All right, so Deviation Games, PlayStation, brand new IP, a mega IP, it sounds like, coming in the future, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys again in the future to, to see more on what you're working on. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Awesome, all right. Uh, Dave, Jason, thank you very much, guys. Sunday, right. Warner Brothers Games and Turtle Rock will be giving players a new look at the zombie multiplayer fun of Back for Blood. And right now, we've got a quick tease of a new boss and news on the beta coming later this summer.
one of the things I'm most passionate about is getting you guys access to play more games at home. Last year, Steam and Xbox did incredible demo events around Summer Game Fest, and this year, Steam's Next Fest starts next Wednesday, and Xbox is back again to do an ID at Xbox demo event, which I'm announcing right now. It starts on Tuesday, and it's completely free, no badges required. One of the games I'm most excited about in the lineup is Tunic from my fellow Canadian, Andrew Scholdice. Here he is to give you a little sneak preview of the brand new demo, which you can exclusively play on Xbox starting on Tuesday. Hi, my name is Andrew Scholdice, and I'm working on Tunic, which is an isometric action adventure about a tiny fox in a big world where you explore the wilderness, fight monsters, and find secrets. I first started working on it about six years ago. Uh, it's been changing a lot over the years, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited about where we've gotten it to today. So in Tunic, you, you start the game and you are a little fox that's washed up on a beach. And you don't have a whole lot of context except for, you know, uh, uh, a lust for adventure. And you are going to wander off and maybe you're going to find a stick. And maybe if you venture a little bit further, maybe you're going to find a sword. And it's really about that sense of discovery, about wondering what's around the next corner. People have played the game at shows before. For, but we wanted to put together a brand new demo that was you know for the home audience and so it's full of never before seen stuff a brand new dungeon a bunch of areas people haven't seen before so excited about tunic and sable also uh is going to be one of the games in that along with a lot of other awesome titles so check that out next week on Xbox. Uh, next up, stave off Ragnarok in this ancient Norse-inspired co-op action survival RPG that you can also fully play solo. Cl classic hack and slash gameplay goes Viking in Norsefell's Tribes of Midgard, launching on PlayStation and PC July 27th. Here is the brand new trailer. The giants have come to Midgard, and you have been chosen by the gods to protect this realm. But your first task is to find some new clothes that aren't desert. Drofty. Your tribe's journey starts in the wilderness. Hunt down pets, gather rare resources, and explore the untamed world. Once you've plundered all you can carry, return to your village and use those resources to forge Viking-worthy gear. You must protect the seed of Yggdrasil at all costs, for this world and everything in it will be destroyed forever. So take heed. The hell things rise when the sun sets. Destroy these dark spirits before they destroy the seed. Each victorious night makes way for a new day to venture into new land, build to greater heights, and face fiercer creatures. And with great risk comes great rewards. But be careful. You're of little use to Midgard squashed by a troll. Craft legendary weapons, build deadly defenses, and grow the strength of your tribe, because those giants are on their way. And it's time for us to end their path of destruction. Let's show them our might is greater than their height. As the saying goes, Valhalla can wait. Who's ready for some Evil Dead? We announced this game last December at TGA, and now it's time for an extended look at the gameplay. To tell us more, let's turn it over to my friend, Tim Willits from Sabre. Hi, Jeff. It's great to see you. Today, we have some extended footage of The Evil Dead, the game. We are excited to show you this. And to help me explain it is Bruce Campbell. Thank you. Hola, Cyber Friends. I'm Bruce Campbell, 
You know me as Ash Williams, the dude who saved the world from evil. I'm here to bring you the lowdown on the upcoming Evil Dead, the game. You and your friends will team up as classic Evil Dead heroes to live the nightmare. You'll use savage finishing moves or tear evil a new one. Or, if you're not into the whole save the world thing, we have another option. You can play as the vile Kandarian demon itself. But who would want to do that? He'd be a dick. <laughs> With the power of possession in your arsenal, you'll scare those goody two-shoes to death. Literally, you can do that if you're a dick. Whether you choose the path of evil or righteousness, you'll be throwing down in places you've seen before. You'll collect pages of the Necronomicon, uncover Nobi's lost tapes, and track down other legendary artifacts. When you've grabbed enough, you'll use a spell to send the Kandarian son of a bitch back to the hellhole it came from. Soon, you'll experience the horror yourself, but for now, I'll leave you with this thought. It was no accident that Ash always wore brown pants. Okay, guys, now it's time for the grand finale to the show. This is extremely special. Today, I am so deeply honored to be given the opportunity to share this next game. It comes from one of our industry's most acclaimed developers and a previous Game of the Year winner at the Game Awards. I want to personally thank this developer for believing in my vision of Summer Game Fest as a new way to bring all of us together for a cross-industry showcase and kick off the summer in the right way. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy this truly spectacular world premiere. It is finally time. Grace, once lost. The Golden Order is broken to its core. Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. They will fight. And they will die. In an unending curse. Champion or a lord. 
to be born. Well... A lowly tarnished... Playing as a lord... I command thee... It actually happened. Elden Ring is coming, as you saw, January 21st, 2022, to next gen, current gen. It's so incredible, and I want to thank so much Miyazaki-san and the team at From for sharing that in-game look at Elden Ring. I hope you guys are happy. Oh, my God. I'm free out of prison. All right. Uh, and that's going to do it for Summer Game Fest kickoff live. Thank you so much to all the developers who took part. And for you and watching around the world, it means so much to me.